Oh, hey guys, um, this is another live stream, but this one is, as the title says, about Philippa Gregory, who I've read a lot on this channel and reviewed a lot on this channel, and I just want to talk about what I think about her, um, her writing style and, um, and how I believe she's changed and kind of maybe how she's it sounds kind of corny to say this, but impacted me in a way. Um, so, first of all, I've been reading Philippa Gregory books for about eight years now. And um, the I remember the first book I ever read was The Other Bolin Girl. And that book was, I know that got a lot of criticism, but I thought that book was really well done. Um, there are some historical inaccuracies, but I can, it's not that big of a deal to really, it doesn't really impact the story as much. And I loved that book. And I also loved the book, I then I read The White Queen, and that got a little confusing for me because I did not know about the Plantagenet series and the Plantagenet um, people, the Plantagenet royal family, whenever I um, whenever I started reading this book, but I really, really enjoyed The White Queen, but it was kind of difficult to follow along who was who. Um, because I didn't know much about that time period. And I read, you know, I've read, even though I haven't reviewed them yet on this channel, I've read a lot of her books. And there are a lot of hits and there are a lot of misses with her writing. Um, but one thing Philippa Gregory did do is, I'm going to start off with more positive things, is she kind of got me into this genre. And I probably wouldn't have gotten into this genre if it wasn't for her and I started reading and branching out into other um you know other forms other authors like C.W. Gortner and Allison Weir and then Sally Christie who I've all read on this channel and even other non-historical fiction works um that I really really enjoyed um, so I give her a plus for that, for really, you know, really helping me to understand, like, you know, to see, um, historical fiction, more historical fiction novels, because if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't be reviewed, there wouldn't be a lot of historical fiction novels on my channel, I bet, because she was one of the first ones that I got into, and her writing style it was really good at um you know I loved a lot of her earlier books from like probably 2000 and wait, see other Bowling books because I've only read the I've only read the Plantagenet and Tudor series I haven't branched out and I'm probably not going going to, I might read a respectable trade. Anyway, anyway, um, anyway, um, from 2001 until 2011, her stuff was, in my opinion, I'm going, I'm not going by when I read them, I'm going by when they were published. Um, a lot of her stuff was really good. There were some myth misses in there. I'm not, I wasn't a big fan. I'm not a big fan of The Other Queen. And I'm not that big of a fan of The Queen's Fool. But other than that, from 2001 to 2011, she just killed it. You know, it was wonderful. She did a great job. But then, I think... After that, I think she started, and I'm not trying to be rude when I say this, 
I think she started running out of ideas. Like, for example, she talked about the Duchess of Bedford, Jaquetta of Luxembourg, and I would have liked to hear her talk instead of Jaquetta of Luxembourg, which really, she didn't do much in this time period, but, but I would have liked to see uh, Marguerite d'Anjou um, instead maybe of Jaquetta of Luxembourg and kind of going through that. Um, but overall from 2000 and one to 2011 her books were really good but then I think that she started running out of ideas and you know there's times that you know if I had enough money you know I'm not I'm not a money I'm not into money but so I'm just using this as an example if I was, if I was an author that, you know, that really, um, cause she's probably made tons of money on her, on her, uh, series, you know, on her, on her. Plantagenet and Tudor series, I believe it's been going on for almost more than 10 years. So this is the last book, so 16 years it's been going on. She's got a lot of money and sometimes I just think people need to just go and enjoy their money. And you know, if they want to put a book out, put a book out because she's made a lot of money and you can kind of tell by some of the characters that she's written about that, you know, that it's like, who, who is Margaret Pohl, really? I mean, her, his, her son was a cardinal, but I mean, she didn't play that big of a role. She was just one of the people executed. She was a, like a grandmother when she was executed by King Henry VIII, because King Henry VIII was a tyrant and kind of a, a, uh, um, I can't think of the word, a, oh gosh, you know, I can, I'm blanking right now and we're live, um, just a, a tyrant and just a, a, uh, kind of paranoid, paranoid, that's what I'm looking for, paranoid and, um, then she wrote about Elizabeth of York, um, and she didn't give a lot of character to her. Um, you know, she didn't give a lot of character to her, and um, I, I would have liked to see more of that because with a novel you can do more with um you know with filling in the, the gaps and stuff but she's not really a big enough player you know to oh someone's someone's in the chat hi whoever that was I'm sorry I didn't catch that um um I just realized because I'm looking at a I'm looking at a, uh, I'm looking at my, I'm focusing on my, my camera lens, and so I just realized my iPad's acting weird. Oh, someone's in the chat. Anyway, um, anyway, um, um, what was I saying? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, she didn't give a lot of character to her like I was expecting and then when you get to the tutors is where it kind of all falls apart 
you can tell, and I've said this in several reviews, you can tell that Philippa Gregory does not like the Tudors. Um, for example, um, Henry the Seventh is just this, like, lech that, that, um, lusts after, um, Catalina de Aragon, and, um, And in real life, that is not how it was. He was really faithful to Elizabeth. Um, I think he had, who's that? Oh, it keeps going away. Um, do you want to join me? I, I can't, it, it goes away too fast. Do you want to join me, whoever that was? Um, anyway, um, there was no, um, there, I mean, in history says that that Henry the, Henry the Seventh did not have any mistresses. Um, she or he had, you know, he was really faithful to his wife, and he loved his wife until she died. Um, and. Um, so, yeah, she loved, or he loved his wife until the day that she died. And but in, in the, the I think it's the Constant Princess. She he's just lusting after Catal Catalina de Aragon, and that, oh God, why? It doesn't need to be in there. It doesn't need to be in there, Philippa Gregory. It just doesn't. And then, like with Elizabeth, she's just a, um, you know, a person that just, you know, uh, is just moronic. Like, she's just, you know, this person that is just obsessed with clothes and can't do anything. So you've turned one of the greatest monarchs in British history into this stupid fool of a woman. You could have done so much with that. I know, I know, I've ranted about this several times. But, okay, if you don't like the Tudors, then why do you even write about them? Why are you making Henry the Seventh a, like, a lech, and then his granddaughter a... A, you know, just a, like, just a, you know, just a, I guess, stupid woman that can't do anything for herself. And you can tell where Philippa Gregory's, um, love lies um i think i think that she thinks that the plantagenet should be the right heirs heirs to the throne and this comes across a lot in various portrayals and things like that and i know i'm i'm ranting i know i these always turn into rant videos anyway um does someone want to join me? Like, let me know, please, if you want to join me and we can rant about Philippa Gregory together. And, um, but one thing, I know I'm all over the place, but this is live. We're doing it live. Um, one thing, um, that a lot of people didn't like that I did like was the element of witchcraft in this particular series. It's really strong, especially when talking about Elizabeth of Woodville. Elizabeth of Woodville. Elizabeth of Woodville. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Woodville and Jaquetta of Luxembourg because they're descendants from this um, supposedly descendants from this water goddess, Mel Melusina, this French water goddess. 
and that, um, you know, that is not, you know, not a good thing. I, I, I guess that is where their powers come in. But a lot of people didn't like that because they're like, you know, just stay true to story, you know, blah, blah, blah. But to them, in this time period, this whole witchcraft element was very real. Um, it was very real. And, you know, and to some people today, it's even still real. But that's another topic for another day. Um, anyway. So it works in this world, it works because, um, for example, in the Kingmaker's daughter, they truly believed that she had power, and she did in, in this particular series. Elizabeth, Wood, Elizabeth Woodville and um, Jacetta of Luxembourg did have this power, and to them, it was real. And at that time, it was real. I mean, that's how the Salem Witch Trials came about is people accused people and they believed it was true and this it was true in this period as well um and I liked it I think it works in this world somehow in this world that she's trying to create and Philip Gregory likes that and that that works for some strange maybe I like fan maybe I've been reading too much Harry Potter I don't know I like fantasy maybe that's why but I mean, it works in this world, and, you know, and I, I like that, maybe I, I need it, but a lot of people didn't like that, a lot of, you hear a lot of people that, oh, that's just stupid, you know, blah, blah, blah. But okay, okay, and there was another kind of obscure book called, um, it's in this series, but it's kind of not in this series. It is called um, The Wise Woman, and that's also a, if anyone's read that, let me know. Um, but that's also a um, story about... Um, someone a, an unknown person like a like a made up person during the time of um king henry the eighth that had magical powers and kind of um kind of you know having that witchcraft element as well i think philip gregory really likes that um but yeah, and a lot of people, I I really enjoyed that aspect of it for some strange reason. Again, maybe I'm reading too much. I've been re I grew up too much with Harry Potter, so maybe that's why. Um, and also, I think her writing style has changed a lot. And again, with her, it's hit or miss, and it's like that with every author. It's hit or miss um, with this particular thing it's uh, but I think her her writing style has changed a great deal and um, maybe it's just me um, but I think it has changed a lot in the past I think it's been 16 years, yeah, 16 years, almost 17 years. Um, it's changed a lot. Um, and again, you have some hits and misses with this particular thing. Um, so, yeah. I mean, 
and like I said before, I think I said in the, um, my live stream about, I think it was the, see, I can't never, see, not the Three Sisters, Three Queens one, but the, the newest one that came out, the, the, oh gosh, I can't. Does someone know what it is? I don't know what the... What's the newest book that came out? I cannot think right now. See, that's how that's how boring it was. I can't even think of that. I, I downloaded it, and I listened to it on Audible, and... Now, what is the newest Philip Gregory book? Someone tell me that. Um... I can't think of what it's called. That's how uneventful it was. About, about the one about Jane Grey. Um, oh gosh. Um, no, it's not. Hold on, guys. I have to look that up. That's going to drive me absolutely mad. Hold on. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm blank. I always forget the name of that book title. And then... Um, See, I wrote it down correctly. Let's see. Okay, it's, is that, is that, uh, it's not, I don't think it's Sisters of Treason. Let's see. The Last Tutor, The Last, The Last Tutor, that's what it's called, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, it's the last tutor. Um, I'm oh yeah, I'm glad it's the last. Ew, I'm glad it's the last book in the series. And I think she kind of needs to take a break and. Um, I'm seeing if someone wants to join the live stream. Hold on, guys. I could spell right that that'd be nice yeah I'm saying if someone wants to join me um yeah I'm glad it's the last book in the series because 
again, I think she's, first of all, she's running out of people to do, and, um, I mean, how far, I would have, I would like, this is French Royal Family, but I'd like to see, and I know it's, I know there's one out there, I would like to see a book about, um, um, Catherine of Valois, who was the, um, who was the, the grandmother of, let's see, the grandmother of King Henry the Seventh, because she married, um, Owen Tudor, and that kind of started the Tud the Tudor dynasty. That would have been interesting, because there was, like, this big, um, kind of scandal back in the day. I, I, I read too many British royal things. Okay, anyway, there was, like, this scandal back in the day, and, um, and, like, she, okay, she, the, King Henry the, King Henry the, um, fifth died, and she, you know, she was in mourning, and she, and she married her, um, I believe it was her dresser, or her keeper of, well, she, she, she married, like, a, a lowly, a lowly person, I guess, and, um, She, I mean, what you could have done with that, like, anyway, there was, like, this big scandal, I know I'm all over the place, there was, like, this big scandal, and, um, you know, and she, she pretty much lost her royal status, and then they made, like, this law that, you know, you couldn't just marry willy-nilly like that, you had to, um, you know, you had to um, get royal permission if you were a duchess or, or a queen, a, a queen, uh, a queen, a queen, dowager queen, dowager queen, that's what's called. Um, and that caused problems for like later in the, actually in one of the books, Lady of the Rivers, the issue with Jaquetta of Luxembourg because she was a duchess. And she married um, her, her husband's uh, squire, and they had to pay like this huge fine and things like that. And I, so I would have liked to see one about Marguerite de Anjou and um, maybe Catherine of Valois, but maybe she didn't. I don't know when she lived for. I don't know much about Cat, Catherine, Cat, Catherine. The Valois. Let's see. Okay, as if anyone's watching, um, like, contact me on Google Hangouts. And if you want to join this stream, this always turns into like a rant fest, and I'm I'm not a a negative person, but I think my my feelings on Philip the Gregory have changed. Um, I think they started to change whenever she wrote that book, the um, the King's Curse about Margaret Pole, um, because it seemed like she was putting. Let's see, like, maybe five books that she had already written and putting that into one book, but through a different, in a different, through a different person. So that's, you know, I, I just wish that, um,
that was when I was kind of like, why am I reading these things? Like, why am I reading? And then during the, um, during the, during the story about, oh gosh, what was their, what was his name? Um, not Catherine. Uh, oh gosh. See, there's so many different people in this. There, it's really difficult to keep track. Oh, yeah, Catherine. Catherine Parr. Catherine Parr. I would have loved to see her relationship. Like, I thought it was going to go on. It ends with the death of Henry VIII. And I would have loved to see... Um, her, because she married Tom Seymour, again, another royal marrying where they're not supposed to. And you, what you could have done with that, because Alison Weir in the Jane Grey book goes into that amazingly, like absolutely amazing. And, um, but instead, it just ends with King Henry VIII's death. I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Um, I think that her work has kind of gone I think she's running out of ideas and then with I think now she's just kind of selling out and I know that's mean to say but it's like she's selling out because she's gotten a movie she's gotten movies she's gotten TV shows um which um I think I'm going to leave the TV shows for another day and if if you guys want to talk about the TV shows if someone wants to talk about the TV shows with me um we we can do that um they're not very long shows, so if you are into that, um, let me know. And I think she's kind of sold out, really. And I don't think that that's good. I think that, I think you should write, if you're going to write, I think you should write for the sake of writing. And I think that when you give shows away to certain companies, they end up bleeding all of the life out of it. I know here in the United States, we we do that a lot. We, we find something that's really popular, something's really popular, and people take, you know, they take it and they roll with it and they're gonna squeeze every last drop out of it. Um, and I don't like that. This looks kind of whack on the phone, I'm not going to lie.
Yeah, um... Yeah, so... I thought someone wanted to join me. Um... But... Yeah, I think... I think that that's the problem with her, is that she's... You know... She wants to be big. I think everyone wants to... To, you know, have that, you know, that their book made into a movie because more people are going to see it. Like, there are times, like, I'm and, and I'm a big reader, but there's sometimes I'm like, oh, that's a movie? I mean, oh, that's a book? You know, I didn't realize it was based on a book. Like, I figured out, I, I didn't realize, like, this is kind of off topic. But I realized recently that 101 Dalmatians was based on a book. I did not know that. Anyway, um, so I think that would be cool. But, but, who's that? Ooh, a, a scammer. Okay, no, we're not going to turn this into a scammer. That scared me. Okay, and that wasn't a Google Hangout. I know it wasn't a Google Hangout. Okay, that scared me. Okay, sorry. Um, anyway, yeah, and so I think that that's what she has done is to sell out and... That scared me. Okay. To sell out and... I don't, I don't think that that's good, you know? I don't think that that's good at all to sell out like that and that's kind of what she's done and you know I'm kind of guilty of watching it I did want to I do want to watch it I did want to watch it that's why I downloaded the stars app but I'm just not into you know selling out um so that is my rant on Philip Gregory and I do want to um I hope you enjoyed this live stream, and I know it was kind of ranty, and I repeated a lot of points that I did in my last um, a few book reviews, So, but I just wanted to get my point out there, and I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, this is just something for fun, so um, bye guys, and share this video with someone who reads Philip Gregory. Thank you.